Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back into the video today. And today, the New Orleans Pelicans are making a huge trade, trading for DeJounte Murray, one time All Star, one time Steel Champion, and also was one time All Defensive NBA. DeJounte Murray has had a great career so far, and. <laughs> It's going to be great for them to pair DeJounte Murray with this Pelicans team. Here are the trade details. The Pelicans are sending Dyson Daniels, Larry Nance Jr. with two first-round picks, a 2025 first that belongs to L.A. and a 2027 first-round pick, which is New Orleans. So New Orleans avoids trading. Obviously, you wouldn't have to give up Zion, but avoids giving up Zion, Brandon Ingram, CJ McCollum, Herb Jones, or Trey Murphy in this deal. They send Dyson Daniels and Larry Nance Jr., so they didn't have to give up any of their five core guys. Look, you you added DeJounte Murray to this team, and the only problem I see with this team now is you don't have a center. Jonas Valanciunas is a free agent. They need to either re-sign him when free agency starts Sunday or find someone else to bring on this team. But DeJounte Murray is a great addition. Had a great season. I want to I want to, you know, go over a close uh, a stat that is very important. The Pelicans were 0 and 24 when trailing uh, come, going into the fourth quarter, and 2-14 and 14 in close games in the fourth quarter. DeJounte Murray is a player who was absolutely fantastic last season in closeout games and you know in the fourth quarter in general. So I think that's going to be a, a huge, a, a huge addition uh, for this team, just for that, that, that reason. Uh, and you know the Pelicans have themselves a very good backcourt now with DeJounte Murray and CJ McCollum, two guys who are good shooters, good scorers, good facilitators. Uh, but DeJounte Murray shot 36% from three on seven attempts per game with 78 games played, 78 starts, 36 minutes per game, shot 46% from the floor, averaged 23 points per game, averaged six and a half assists per game, 5.3 rebounds per game, Good, def really good defensively, averaging one and a half steals per game as well. Even had a season uh, where, you know, he was all defensive NBA, um, or no, all he was all defensive NBA in the 17-18 season, but he averaged two steals per game in his all-star season and the 2021-22 season where he finished runner-up and most improved player. Uh, but this was DeJounte Murray's best offensive season. This was the most points per game he's ever had in a season at 22.5. Uh, this was even uh, his second best season with assists outside of the 2021-22 season's best year of his career. This was the most assists he's averaged in a season. So, and also I might want to add that you know 6.4 assists next to a guy like Trey Young, who is I'll go I'll go to Trey Young and you know tell you how many assists he averages. It six almost seven assists when you're playing with a guy like Trey Young, who this past season averaged 11 assists per game, averaged 10 the season before the two seasons that Dejounte played with Trey Young. Uh, Trey Young averaged 11 assists per game this season, and then the season before averaged 10.2. So Trey Young is a guy who gets a lot of assists. So to average almost seven assists next to Trey Young, I would think Dejounte Murray's assists are going to go up next year. I know you're going to be guy, you know, you're going to be next to a guy like CJ McCollum, but I feel like Dejounte Murray is going to be a big facilitator facilitator for this team. And you know, we might be able to see CJ McCollum kind of move back to that shooting guard position. He's been playing point guard for the Pelicans recently. He used to be that you know the shooting guard for the Blazers, and and you know Damon Damon Lillard was the point guard. Maybe we see that happen with Dejounte Murray coming you know coming onto this Pelicans team. Let me know your thoughts on the trade in the comment section though, and peace out.